Tiger Williams is a film and TV writer, adjunct professor at the USC School of Cinematic Arts, the UCLA School of Theater, Film, Television, and a creative advisor with the Sundance Institute Screenwriters Lab. His credits include Menace to Society, The Perfect Guy, and the upcoming Netflix series, Madam C.J. Walker. He is currently a writer on the FX series, Snowfall. Presenting the award to Renee Pillay is Tiger Williams. I, I love, I, where's Renee? I love this script. The bickering, the bickering, the bantering, the fussing, the fighting, the little boy who's not talking. You know, you, you, you read it and you get into it and you're like, where am I headed? What is this? And I have to say, yes, you made me cry. Um, Renee hails from Malaysia. And you know, she was notified that she won the nickel. You know, she applied for her first passport. And, uh, you know, but she also needed a US visa. But the earliest interview they could get was on November 8th. <laughs> but with the help of our amazing Nichols staff, a meeting was arranged with the Cultural Affairs Office of the U.S. Embassy in Malaysia, and they agreed to uh, craft an appeal to the Consul General and, uh, you know, to expedite the thing. And uh, Renee's friends got together and they pulled some money, and she hopped in the car and drove the two hours to Kuala Lumpur to the embassy. And we're happy to have her here. <laughs> and at, at first glance, you know, Boy with Kite, it's a it's a simple story about a woman and a man and a and a you know and a boy that upends this this family and ultimately illuminates their lives, but it's, it's much more than a simple story. It's complex. It's as complex as, as life is. It's a very human and universal story. Um, and it's not, about, it's not about a woman. It's not about, a, it's not about Malaysia. It's not about the things that often, as particular genders or people of color are expected to write, it, it touches all of us. We know all of these characters. We are all of these characters. I came away from the script caring deeply about these characters and their lives. And as I said, um, she brought a tear to my eye. And in a time when movies are increasingly becoming technological marvels, not Marvel, <laughs> technological marvels, I believe the ability to infuse real emotion into our work is a skill that's more valuable than ever. And I value you, Renee, and I couldn't be more honored to present the this year's Nichols Award to you. Um, thank you, Mr. Williams. I, I had no idea. Um, <laughs> Rosa Salazar, if you were like 40, 50 years older, <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> um, it was amazing hearing all, it's amazing just being here. Um, because you've heard the story of my journey. Um, and on that front, I have to, I have a whole bunch of thank yous. I'm so sorry to subject all of you to this, uh, but I'll make it very fast. Thank you to Sangya Pile, Irvin Hiao, Julian Lee, Jenny, Christy Lau, Zoya Elena, Maslina, Kasturi Kasavan, Azlina Momat Yusuf. Some of them gave me money when times were bad. All of them gave me food and shelter when times were really bad. And they never once told me, stop writing. Um, but I, I wouldn't blame them if they did. Fact is, I've never taken a writing class. I 
come from 14,000 miles away. I don't even speak English half the time. Um, and I want to write movies here in Hollywood. What kind of fool thinks that is possible? More importantly, the reason for this is because when you come from a place where your writing's not understood, not encouraged, when there's no room for the stories you have to tell, when you're not given the space to exist, then even though these are dark times here, it's dark times all over the world. And uh, Hollywood starts to look, well, Hollywood starts to make sense, and that's a bit scary, isn't it? Um, and the sense that it makes is that there are freedoms here, um, freedoms that so many of us take for granted. For example, uh, the freedom to write about exotic places like Nebraska. <laughs> the freedom to write about people who are nothing like you, but who are you freedom to connect with others, irrespective of whoever, whatever, wherever you are. Because like Ben, that little boy who doesn't speak, can speak, I suspect all of us, like me, I wanted to be heard. I think we all want to be heard. And that's why <clears throat> all this work, um, all of this by Joan and, and Chris and the whole Nickel Fellowship team, it's work that's not only important, it's necessary. Because if not, voices like Stella and Linny and Ben and mine would never be heard. Because if it wasn't for them, the Academy and the Nickel Committee, none of people like me, we wouldn't get a chance to be heard. And I realize now, after meeting the Nickel Committee yesterday, it's because every single one of these people, I always want to say this, well, frankly, my dear, they do give a damn. <laughs> okay? They do. They totally do. So now, what I get from all this is moving forward, whenever I'm I'm going to be told that I'm all wrong uh, when I'm not given the room to exist or the freedom to be. Then I'll remember that improbabilities, well, they can happen. I am one of them. There can be so many more. Thank you. <laughs>